Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, it has to get out. Okay. No basic zone. Stushy, it's your girl Stushy back with another video. If you are new, then hey boo, my name is Stushy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that way you can officially become a part of the Stush gang and be sure to also ring that bell so that way you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. If you are indeed one of my returning subscribers, welcome back Stush gang. As you guys know, I'm always happy to have you guys back to check out a brand new video. So today I'm looking pretty regular and actually pretty comfy, but today's video is going to be a full get ready with me. I have some black owned products that I want to try. I also have some gifted items that I want to test out on the channel with you guys so sit back enjoy go ahead and give me a big thumbs up right now before you forget I know sometimes during the video you know we get sidetracked so yeah without any further ado let's get into it so my face has already been moisturized and everything but I'm gonna go ahead and apply a primer this one was gifted to me by super goop so shout out to you super goop I actually have mentioned super goop on my channel before they are an SPF brand um SPF for all I don't know if you guys know but you should be using SPF on the daily black brown pink blue green it doesn't matter you should be using SPF every single day okay so I actually have the glow stick it's currently in my um, skincare fridge I'm not gonna take it out but I have the glow stick from them that I purchased with my own money but they did go ahead and send me this unseen sunscreen so I'm gonna go ahead and test it out with you guys today it is a weightless colorless scentless oil free formula for face that leaves behind a velvety soft finish also acts as a makeup gripping primer and is perfect for all skin tones so say less Oh, say less. I have my cutie mirror I'm gonna just go ahead and apply a little bit um, for my primer. I love the fact that it has an SPF of 40 because we definitely get our um, protection there. So yeah, let me just go ahead and apply it. And it's a gel formula. That's really nice. Let's see if she is colorless. Alright. Oh, it does have a velvety feel. Kind of reminds front. I feel like it's going to give me like a matte. Um, coverage which I'm not mad at because the foundation that I'm using today it is a hydrating foundation so kind of need something to keep the oils at baby and that is hot it's summertime and all that good stuff so color free she is color free she is I do not have any white residue I don't get any right residue when using this product so I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot more for my primer especially in the summertime because it's all free it's hot it's hot in New York I don't know where you guys are but it's pretty hot so I'm trying to have my makeup last is there something in my nose hold up it wasn't a booger it was just like a lint or something mind your business all right primer has been applied primer is officially on now I'm gonna go in with this lip bar high brow um, it's a 201 brow gel and pencil from um, the lip bar as I mentioned before this is what she looks like. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the package. If you guys watched my Target drive with me, then you saw that I picked up some things from, from the lip bar. So today we're going to test it out. This is a brow product. I ha I've been using an, a brand that I'm not going to mention, but you, if you know, you know. I've been using this brand to do my brows for the longest, but like... I don't know if you guys are following the pull up for change um, initiative on Instagram where the founder of Oma Beauty basically was challenging a ton of different brands, beauty, fashion, just a ton of different brands, um, well-known brands that black people shop from, from, that people of color shop from, to pull up to show us um, the statistics behind um, their company, show us how many black people are working there, show, any, show us how many black people are in their corporate level, in the highest levels of their um, company. And a lot of them have been slacking, a lot of them have been showing their booty. We've also seen a lot of beauty influence come out and just speak about how they've been wrongfully treated by these companies so we've canceled a few I'm still using some of the products obviously because I'm not gonna waste my money but moving forward I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna be buying from some of these brands so I'm happy that I found this black owned brow product and it's available at Target as well or you can purchase you know items from the website so let's see one side is okay the gel and it comes with this little spoolie I don't know if you guys see that comes with a little spoolie on one side. I'm not really like a gel gal. I'm more of a pencil gal. But, I mean, I got both of them, so we're going to make it work. How do I open this other side? Oh, okay. This is the pencil side. So we have an angled pencil, and honestly, I really, really like this style of pencil. I used another brand. I don't really know if this brand is canceled, but I used another brand, and the pencil sh is shaped just like this, and I actually really enjoy it. So, I'm going to go ahead and... um 
spooling my brows and let's do it all right let's see what this pencil's hitting for and i do have my white cutie mirror these are limited edition but we do have some on the site i always speak about my cutie mirrors on my channel you guys always see me using it whether it be for skincare whether it be for makeup application lash application so you should go ahead and get yours down below in the description box my website is www.kepranyc.com and it's own ran by a black girl okay so just saying all right let me go ahead and do these brows She's giving product, y'all. I'm definitely getting the product on the brows. I'm always scared with new brow stuff because sometimes I feel like the color's off or it just doesn't give me enough brow, you know, but I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And I don't know if I mentioned, but this was in the color high brow, but everything that I listed today will be linked down below. So go ahead and check the description box if you're interested in any of the products that I use today. But yeah, let me go ahead and do this other brow. NGO, not gonna lie, I'm filming this brow product. Okay, I'm not mad at it, not one bit. So let me go ahead and conceal. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Brows look really good. I definitely will be using this moving forward for my brows. All I did was um, go ahead and conceal, and I also added some. And I, <laughs> And I also added some concealer to my eyelids, get the words out. So now I'm gonna step into um, eyeshadow. I don't wanna do anything too complex today. I don't really know what I wanna wear today and I kinda wanna take some pictures. So I want something that's very minimalistic but still something, you know what I mean? So I did also pick up this Lip Bar eyeshadow palette. This is the After Party Eyeshadow Quad. And this is what it looks like. So let me go ahead and take it out of the package so you guys can see it better. So in my Target um, vlog that I was talking to you guys about before, I'll leave it linked up above if you guys wanna watch it i like took it out of the package there and i was like wow this is kind of small but you do get a lot of um shadow but these will it come out but this i'm assuming would be great for like travel if you don't want to bring up you know a big old heavy eyeshadow palette you could bring this so this is what she looks like out of the package so yeah it's a lot smaller and these are the colors so i'm going to use this and i'm also going to use this palette that i got from prolux cosmetics this is their red queen palette the color scheme is beautiful this is what the palette looks like once it's open and i'm honestly in love with the names so it definitely goes with the name of the palette which is red queen it's given royalty your majesty enemy kingdom rule like just really cute so i'm gonna go ahead and create something fun something very simple with both of these palettes so let's get into it let's see what i come up with Okay, pigment. She cute, she's cute and simple. Okay, so now that that's done, all I did was use um, these two shadows in the lip bar palette. And I also used one, two, and three in the Prolux Red Queen palette. I don't really have um, any fallout, which is really good. So this is the eye, the eye is complete. Now let's go ahead and go into foundation. So I picked up a new foundation. This one is actually from Fenty Beauty. It's the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. So last year I purchased this same foundation in the shade 445. 
I was pretty dark last year I'm not gonna lie I was pretty dark in the summertime but still it was a little bit too dark for me so I would mix it into some of my other foundations so I went ahead and picked up 430 um, I am 430 and I could do 420 sometimes in the winter so I have 430 in the pro filter foundation which is the very first foundation that they came out with but this one is the hydrating so let me go ahead and open this and let's test this color out today Ooh. So yes, this is what she looks like. So let's go ahead and apply it. Let's go ahead and do our foundation routine. I'm gonna go ahead and um, pump it right on my face. Let's see if this is gonna be a good match. Honestly, I don't really like the Fenty pumps if I'm being 100% honest because I feel like you just gotta take your time because they just fly everywhere. But first time, oh, I think it's coming, I think it's coming. Yes, okay. So I know it looks a little red. Let's see. Let's blend it out and see if I need to add anything else. I honestly feel like it could work because my neck is just a tad bit. Um, darker than my face. I know on camera it looks super light, but believe me in person. It's definitely a little bit different um, so I Think it could work after we do concealer and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and complete the face and I'll be back Using one of my oval brushes from Vanity Planet. I do have a full video showing you guys how I use these brushes. So I'll leave that linked up above and down below. And I do have a coupon code if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these brushes. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description box as well. But I'm using it to blend out my cream contour from Fenty Beauty. It's a Fenty face. Yeah. Yeah, see that blend? Voila! Okay, so I went ahead and powdered up. Now I'm back. Um, I want to contour my nose really quickly with you guys. Um, I'm going to be using one of my Vanity Planet Over Blush. Over, ugh, why can't I talk today? Why can't I talk? Oval brushes. Contour the nose just a little bit. Just a sweet little bit. There's a fly in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, it has to get out. Someone let that freaking fly in here. You see that? Wait, I hear him. Get out. Get out now. Get out. Get out. Okay. Sorry for that. Yes. Still in here. Get out. 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 No, no, no. This way. This way. Yes. 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 Oh. He got out. Going in with some blush now with my oval brush. I really like this um, brush for blush. This blush, this brush for blush. That's a tongue twister. Going in with this highlighter from Prolux Cosmetics. I've used it before, but I haven't shown you guys on the channel. So let's use it today. She don't play, okay? She don't play. This might easily be one of my new faves. I'm 
we're in it with our tattoo liner and then we're gonna go in with our nyx white liner um and do a half a line so let's do it That is she. Of course, when we put on lashes, it's going to look 10 times better. It always does. Now that the other eye is done, I'm going to go in with my lashes in the Style Confident. This is what they look like. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I went ahead and um, added some uh, orange in my lower lash line from the Prolux Cosmetics palette. I went ahead with Chest Queen right in my lower lash line, and I also popped on some mascara, and I popped on Confidence from my lash brand, as I mentioned. I did also line my lips with a brown lip liner. Now I'm going to actually go in with this lip glass from um, MAC Cosmetics. This is Patience Please. I'm going with this lip gloss from the lip bar. This is in the color Trophy Wife up my stream. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and try to slay this wig, and I'll be right back. look I really really like how today's look turned out very simple very subtle but still real sexy still real cute so let me know how you guys are feeling the look down below in the comments I personally love the um, 430 foundation I think this shade is perfect to be honest like how do you guys think everything looks I think it looks really really good of course it looked a little red in the beginning but after I you know concealed um, contoured and everything I feel like it looks really good so I think I'm gonna be using it moving forward loving miss um, loving the brow product from the lip balm and I really like the lip gloss as well as a topper like she is bomb trophy wife is bomb so you'll definitely be seeing me use a trophy wife the lip gloss that I used earlier in a few upcoming videos because y'all know I'm a glossy gal and I really really like her so along with the brow pencil which I also will be using in some upcoming videos the sunscreen slash primer do you see any sweat no okay she is i'm honestly really surprised about this i'm loving the fact that it has spf it has an spf of 40 so i can go outside and be completely covered but also love the fact that i can use this as a primer so it serves two purposes i love that and it did say it is water and sweat resistant i feel like it's holding up so far i'm gonna keep this makeup on to probably record another video so i hope that it holds up as the day progresses but i'll definitely be using this a lot more as i mentioned i've used the highlighter before but i wanted to show you guys this potential on camera like this this prolux highlighter is a bomb i'm definitely going to be using her a lot more on my channel she is brown girl friendly and <laughs> sis the glow is impeccable okay and as far as these two products from the lip bar and from um prolux cosmetics i feel like the eyes look really really nice you guys know that white eyeliner always does something a little bit extra for me so of course i went ahead and added some white liner but i feel like the shadows definitely performed really well i feel like both of the palettes worked really well together i didn't have any problems blending anything out so i'll definitely be using these two on my channel moving forward i really like these um so i have nothing i really have nothing bad to say about any of the products that i use today which i'm really happy about because though some of them are gifted it's gonna serve me no purpose if I can't use it in my makeup routine so I'm happy that I liked every single product including the ones that I bought because of course if I spend my hard on coins I want it to really work so I'm happy about that oh and I forgot to mention my headband is from the Aquino collection along with my hair I did mention them and um I did mention the headband in one of my recent hauls and I showed you guys this new hair in one of my recent videos so yes as I mentioned before let me know how you guys fell in today's look down below in the comments if you enjoyed today's get ready with me showing you guys a few new products then go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up down below Below. If you haven't already subscribed to join the gang, I really hope that you subscribe down below. Hit that red subscribe button and also ring the bell so that way you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And yeah, I'm not going to hold you guys here any longer. So with that being said, until next time, until the next video, until next upload, until next post, I'll see you guys all later. Bye guys. Pretty regular deck. I'm looking pretty regular, pretty. It. Let's do it. Plane is passing by. Kind of wish I was on it, but not in this situation. Not during Rona. 
let's do it where's my brow spoolie i think it's over there okay so now i want to do so now i'm going to go ahead i'm actually filming and i can hear you from downstairs so now i'm going to step in be sure to give me a big thumbs up before you forget 